raster data set and width data set. Now, raster data set is the one which is in the form of pixel, or you can say which is in the form of grid. Whereas, vector data set is in the form of point, polyline, and polygon. Now, if you have to create a vector data from a raster data, in that case, you have to digitize. So in today's tutorial, we will see that how you can digitize a vector feature class from a raster data on our chain. This is a brief description of digitizing in ArcMap. In several scenarios, you have to create vector files or vector shape files like point, line or polygon from some existing raster data set. And in this case, it is a high resolution satellite image which I used as a base map and it can be any raster data it can be a topographic base map it can be a scanned image etc the idea behind this is we need an image as a base to trace line the first and the foremost thing which we have to see is that the editor and the snapping toolbar are added to the arc map as in this case i have already done uh, and we have already added them but you can add them by clicking on to the uh, customize right uh, at the top and then going to toolbars and from there you can select these two, uh, two toolbars editor and snapping so once you have them uh, then you have to create a feature class in which we can uh, place the features we will create. So I will go to my R catalog. Here I have already created a file geodatabase. I will go to my file geodatabase, right click on it and select a new feature class. So give it a name. And in ArcGIS we uh, have uh, this feature a class where we have to tell that which class we want so we will select point here as i have to create trees so click next now you have to select a suitable projection for your area as already told you in previous tutorials also that projections are country specific so select the coordinate system appropriate to your area and then click next we will keep the default xy tolerance and in this case it is 0 0.001 meters next here also we will keep the default configuration keyword next and now here you can add extra attributes to your vector file. As already discussed previously that with every spatial vector data an associated non-spatial attribute table which contains all the information about the vector file. So here I added a field name type uh, which will be in the form of text and then finish. So this will uh, create a new feature uh, class that I can see. Uh, here uh, in my catalog now I will go to the editor toolbar yes and select start editing and that will activate many of the features there in the toolbar then we have to activate the create feature icon which is the last in the toolbar So if I click that, uh, it will open a new window named as create features. And as you can notice, I already have my new feature class trees. Just select that and below that under construction tools, we will click on point. So you can also change the symbology of your feature class to make it more prominent and for that you just have to go to property symbology and from here you can select the symbols of your choice to depict your feature class. And once you select uh, the symbol of your choice then you just have to click OK. okay now with the selected we can create our feature points we are ready for that so if i want to digitize some trees i just have to click where i want to place it for example here i want to place it okay so like this and uh, as you can see a point is created with the symbology we selected so while editing, if I want to add the attributes as well, then we have to click on this attribute on editor toolbar and here we can add the attribute while we are digitizing. 
so in this case it is uh, the type of the tree so i will click here in this area and type in my attribute for this place uh, like i can type the name of the tree such as uh, for example uh, the tree name is maple so i will just type in maple so here is the attribute now when i uh, will save it and it will be saved by this attribute name so we continue with this so here is another one uh, so let us say this one is a walnut tree so i'll just type in walnut in the attribute so as and uh, so on we can create um, other so once you are done you just go back to the toolbar and save edits and if uh, you are done just click on stop editing so i have created my point feature class with the name trees as you can see on the uh, table of content now let us see that if i want to create some lines or want to digitize some path or rows so i will go back to my file geo database as i did earlier for the points right click and create a new feature class as we did uh, in the case of point data so type in the name here for example uh, i want to digitize paths and select the feature class as line click next same coordinate system as default settings and okay okay you can add the attribute as the name of the path or the road if you want simultaneously okay while creating the line feature one thing you have to make uh, sure that how you are going to approximate the curve or the shape of the feature so i will go back to editor toolbar and start editing now in create features you can see trees are still there but now i want to select path so just select path and construction tool uh, this time you will select line now i will start tracing uh, my line you just have to click uh, to create the vertex and follow the directions of the path and uh, you have to select a vertex uh, wherever the line changes the direction so it's it's totally depend upon you you it's, you have to decide that how many vertices you want to use to describe that particular line as you can see that i am creating vertices and i am trying to make vertices wherever the line changes its direction and at the end of the line segment you have to double click to finish the line segment so i can do more of these but eventually it is the same process so this is how you create line features of a polyline vector data now here in the editor toolbar you have an icon saying edit vertices now from where you can edit your vertices uh, can move it to and fro can add more vertices and modify the features so that's the path i digitize now we will see how we can create a polygon uh, vector data so we will create another feature class as we did previously and we will type the name for example uh, i want to digitize park so choose the feature class as polygon repeat the same we did in uh, previously next next and finish now i will be able to create polygon it is processing and you'll see a polygon named a polygon file named as park in my table of content so just start editing okay i can even change the color of my park polygon say i want green so select that okay now select the layer of editing in case of create features that is park and select the polygon construction tool this time 
Okay, so for example, I want to trace this feature as polygon. I will digitize by creating vertex and uh, will double click it to close the polygon once it is finished. Or uh, you can, in order to finish the, or in order to close the polygon, you can just do the right click after the last word is just click the uh, make a right click and click to finish stretch right so here we have a polygon feature right now if i want to trace an existing feature let's say i want the boundary of my polygon to exactly match the vertex of my polyline or a path which I just digitized. So we can even do that also. Now just select a tool from the drop down of this toolbar named trace. So now I can um, uh, create a new polygon. So as you can see, as I get close to the existing feature, it will get snapped. So I will click at the start of that and if I drag the cursor along the existing feature, it will highlight it to make it sure that it is being traced and you need not to click at each vertex. I can just trace it along and the end I will click. so. It automatically creates a matching line segment or vertices to the existing line feature. And then I can continue digitizing the rest of the feature. So I will just click on this straight segment and will continue digitizing the rest of the feature. And in the same way, after the last vertex, right click and finish to stretch. So now I have a second feature that exactly traced along the existing line feature. So this was actually uh, the basic of creating point, line and polygon vector features from a raster data set using ArcGIS. Thank you so much.